first of all, um, there is a key principle, which is that you cannot build a durable peace if you don't involve women. And uh, it's just about, it's, it's not just about um, sort of symbolic representations about um, active empowerment. That's the first thing. The second thing is that there are commitments that were entered into by the parties when it comes to participation of women in the key institutions of, uh, of that country. So these commitments need to be need to be respected at the national and the local level. Chef de cabinet and, uh, and all of us, uh, we uh, uh, reaffirm our commitment to uh, supporting uh, South Sudan in uh, overcoming the uh, challenges that have to do with uh, uh, the security, but also uh, the uh, humanitarian situation exacerbated by uh, natural disaster, particularly the floodings. Um, and of course, we talked about the implementation of the uh, roadmap uh, and in particular the issue of the uh, uh, security sector and how uh, that process can be carried forward. What we all aspire to is first of all stabilization of the situation in this country followed by sustainable and enduring peace. Um, absolutely clear that ultimately a durable solution to the challenges of South Sudan will come from a successful political process. That is really clear. The solution is political. Now, there is a window of opportunity ahead of us. My message to the population of South Sudan is that uh, we're committed to, to supporting you, but I think more importantly, we're committed to empowering you.